Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to the Long Dark. So last time we rested here, we still got a lot of weight on this, if I remember right. Yes, we do. And we're going to hike our way back to the house and drop a bunch of it on the floor again. This game doesn't this game doesn't do good things for me in, in terms of like my hoarding that that I have slightly in real life. I kind of do the same thing in this game. So I get I get similar problems, I should say. Do we still have raw meat on us? I can't remember if we cooked that or not. Yeah, we still have raw meat on us. That's not good for keeping the wolves away. It's okay. It's okay. I think I remember I said I was going to wait until I got back. And if we're lucky, the wolves won't attack us and maybe Grey Mother will be done thinking or whatever she was doing. Either way, that is going to take me a minute, so we're going to speed walk. Alright, made it back without getting attacked. So before I talk to you, I'm going to go ahead and cook all the meat so we're not smelly. Alright, I think I got most of that fixed. Now, unfortunately, it is really dark, so we'll probably have to sleep before whatever major event we do next. But, let's see. You've come back. Yes. I'm still looking for my friend. Anything you can remember might help. They said there were bad men who came from the tunnel. Your friend, the woman, she must have passed through there. Tunnel? The only way through the mountains. The only way she could have gone. Grey Mother wants to know what happened in the night. I heard the angry voices, the angry wind, but the rest is a mystery. Go to the tunnel and tell me what you find. Okay, what about blizzards? I mentioned a storm before. Mountain blizzards blow through here from time to time. People get stuck in doors, or worse. Worse? They wander in circles, only to die within reach of their homes, even when they're right there in front of them. And they say, Grey Mother is blind. Ha! Nice, Grey Mother. I, I like that. Good joke. There are a lot of wolves out there. I know, I got attacked by one. They never take long to move in once the people leave. Any idea where I might find a way to defend myself? The rifle stays with me, but there might be other ways. In the old days, we used to scare them off with fire. A torch would do the trick. We used to make them out of pieces of wood and a rag dipped in kerosene. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Fortunately, we don't have the old days anymore. It's been a while since Grey Mother had anyone to cook for. Take some soup before you go. Uh, thanks. Man, homemade soup. This is like uh, the Wind Waker where you get grandma soup. And it is hot. It's got a lot of calories in it too. Wow. So yeah, it is, it's like far too late for me to do too much. So we're going to wait for it to be daytime and we'll be back. Alright. So we're back. I might have wasted a little bit of time. I'm not sure. But, let's see. So there's the tunnel collapse. 
which we're supposed to figure something out about. Um, which might tell us exactly what happened, but is that... We could explore that. There was this supply cache down by the church. And to be honest, I'm kind of interested in that. Okay, weight is barely okay. So we can pick up some stuff for a bit and not worry too much. The problem you start to run into, and I've run into as well. I think we're okay. Is that in order to make the weight limit work for you, you have to start shedding off certain items. Certain, like, non-vital items. Like, I, I like to keep the clothes and I like to keep the food. Unless I just have extremely excessive amounts of it. You know, and I'll keep the really lightweight things that don't matter. Like, matches don't matter and... There's a lot of little things that don't matter. But... You start shedding off things like firewood and, you know, excess water if you've got tons of it. And I always get worried that I'll be put into a situation where I needed it and then I don't have it. But then again, I will just walk around really slowly for a long time. Okay, let's take a look. So it does seem kind of like we are held in by mountains a little bit. Like, it won't let us go too far. But that being said, we're not getting cold that quickly. Although, it might it might be kind of close to nighttime. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's my problem. I get, I get, I start doing all the things I need to do and I'm like, oh wait, it's morning. It's just like real life is the problem. Nothing in there. But, uh, yeah, since we're going back to do a little exploration anyway. Oh, there's the wolf. I was looking for him. Um, I might... I might do a little, like, other exploration, too, other than just for the supply box. Should be somewhere over here. Around this hill or so. Oh yeah, but so my whole thing about the shedding off some of the less important heavy items, like the wood and stuff like that, is the fact that I have no firewood other than those two sticks I just grabbed, so. You know, if I really needed to start a fire, like right now, I could, but it wouldn't be a very good one. I think it's on this hill. I kind of see the hill on the map. Yeah, it's like I kind of see the hill on the map, so I think it's... Oh, wait, is that it? No, that is a piece of fence. Maybe it's on the other side. Ah, there it is. I kind of get why they make them look like this. Ah, here it is. All right, lantern, emergencies, sewing cloth, MRE. The MRE was probably the best part out of all of that. The other stuff is good, but I already have them. I kind of get why they make them look like they do. They're hard to see unless you know where they're at. And, you know, it helps you find... Once you know where they're at, it helps you find them. But it's... I don't know. They look a little strange. Like, you really shouldn't be able to see them. They should be covered in a foot of snow or something.
All right, so it's like a little lake thing back here. It appears where I came from. I don't see any marked or otherwise points of interest. Might want to investigate these houses or these buildings because I never went to these yet. Any of this stuff down here. And then after all that, we can probably take a look at the tunnel. I'm not seeing a whole lot here, though. I'm guessing, uh... I'm guessing that supply chest was, like, the big thing. I wonder if the game waits to put them there until after you've already been... Until after you've been told about them. You know? Okay, I think I'm about right here. Maybe... No, no, I, I'm probably about right here, so... These are the buildings I was just talking about. And I don't think this is going to be very good. These look like farm buildings. Like, well, that house over there might be. If that is a house and not a barn. Most of the time in this game... Barns, like these open barns, have had little to nothing in them. And there's a wolf over there. That being said... They might be hiding more things in the single player game mode. Oh god. I hear it. Is it mad at me or is it mad at something else? Oh, that one. Uh, let's go puncture. Okay. Wolf is scared. I've suffered blood loss. Blood loss will kill you unless you stop it. Simple cloth bandage might save your life. Now, I think... I've got some bandages. I can stop the infection with this, the old man's beard. Need that for the... Oh, so you got to figure out where to apply what wound. Like, to heal what thing. That's an interesting thing. Alright, so now I need an actual bandage as well. And I think I only have one. Okay. Good. I've never used... Well, I used these emergency stems once. These things are dangerous. In fact, I think they even get... Well, they used to have a spot on your wheel. Maybe not. When they first introduced them, they gave them a spot on your wheel so you could access them without having to inventory manage. It's okay, we're doing alright. Lost a little bit of condition, but... I want to explore this place. Okay, anything back here? Nothing. Not even worth it. So there's a wolf. Great, another wolf. Maybe slashing. Okay, now we're now we're hurting a bit. <sighs> this is not the preferred method to go about this, mind you. But okay, so I don't have any more bandages. Gotta stop that blood loss and bleeding as well. Can I make a bandage? Do I have the required materials? I do. I have a cloth. I can make two. I'm gonna bleed out soon. You're fine. Think. 
Okay, come on. I don't have any more rocks. Okay, this might be the end of it. Okay, torn clothing. Not good on health. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Thought that was it. Thought that was all the wolves. Alright, new plan. To aid our survival escape back to the house. We're gonna make a torch. That did it. I think it's just more barns. Now that I'm looking at it, I can see through it. So that's not an actual house, those are barns. And there's so many wolves. Although I'm seeing a path on the left, I bet if I hugged that left path, I'd be less likely to run into wolves, so... We might... we might give it another shot. Not today. Definitely not today. That river keeps going. I think we're... yeah, we're right here. Might be interesting to investigate the river as well. They usually run by interesting places on occasions. We legitimately will not survive another wolf encounter, though. If one, you know, comes to us. I think, I think we're safe now. Mr. 250's wacky wolf fighting adventure begins yet again. It's just to show you how quickly you can go from being pretty okay to just, like, dead in this game. Oh, alright. You want a you wanna torch? I'll set that hide on fire and so say you like it. Why is that deer hide so cured? Oh, I see. Three here. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that went way worse than I thought it would, so you're going to have to give me a bit to get back to where I need to be. All right, we are somewhat the way there. We're like, I don't know, 80%, 85, something like that. There's some ability that I don't know if the, if the, like, the sleepy time or whatever it's called, T, uh, tells you directly about, but... It gives you improved rest. And reading into that, I think it it increases your condition faster than normal rest does. I don't think it actually uh I don't think it actually like in makes your makes you sleep like get more fatigue or less fatigue. I think it has more to do with condition. So anyway, we know we can survive at full health three wolf encounters barely, so I think right now I could survive two. He also tore my clothes, something else to keep in mind. Um, the condition of some of my clothes, it looks like the mittens in particular went down a lot. So that's not the preferred way to fight a wolf. In fact, the preferred way is to leave them alone until you have, you know, half decent weapons. And even then it's a bit iffy. The rocks seem to be doing very little to the wolves, if anything. I haven't seen one deterred by it yet, and I haven't... I don't know if I've hit one yet, but... They don't... They don't seem to care about rocks. A 
That's not going to stop me from throwing rocks at them. That's my only ranged weapon I have. No thanks. I'm good. Okay, so we're about here, so we pass the Orca gas station on our right and we keep going. Alternatively, we could take a... Well, no, no. Yeah, we'll pass it on our right. We could take a right. There was a trail that went that way. I'm kind of curious about that, actually. So we can look into that really quick, and then after looking into that, we'll, uh, we'll go for the objective. And I was thinking about it. I could go down to that farm area again with, like, the farmhouses, but I've got this feeling that I'm going to find nothing but, like, I might find, you know, some wood. I might find a sewing kit. I might find things I already have. There's very few things at this point they could offer me that w I think would justify running into another two to three wolves. <laughs> Porter potties? Sure. Oh, I can't open these. Alright, ah, uh, bank deposit key. And some antiseptic. Alright. Well, that'll get us something. It's not really on the map, so I don't really know exactly where we're at. There's some more rabbits here if I felt the need to mess with them. Park warning. Due to the unfortunate accident, the Milton and Area Parks Board can no longer condone the use of the climbing area within the park boundaries. Additionally, recent seismic activity has brought the safety of several of several some common routes and climbing sections into question. We're reviewing safety policies and will publish findings as soon as possible. Until then, please refrain from using the designated climbing areas in the park. Milton Park. Said we discovered that as a new location. Oh, is it all this lower area on the map that I haven't been to yet? I wonder if that's it. Well, that's a waterfall, but... So the map keeps going. Oh. Am I ready for this kind of... This kind of journey? Out in the early morning where it's nice and misty and cold and there's a building. Yeah, take that stick. Put these away for right now. Not much of a building, but... Designed to be layered under something warmer. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, that's not great. Could end up being useful. Some good stuff. Another flare shell. Another flare shell. Still never found that flare gun. It'd be a useful thing, but I'd probably end up having to look it up. Because I don't know where it's at. <laughs> There's a bed. Orange soda. We're still getting cold in here, so this isn't the best place to sleep. What have we here? A lot of flare shells. They're really preparing me for that flare gun that I never got. No, I, I think I've used the flare gun maybe once. I really... I never had a good reason to use it. You know, and I never really found it very often anyway. So, there's that too. Hey, 
Give me that soda. How do I open? Oh, it's, it's just open already. Okay. And there's a stove here, so if I really needed to, I could stay here. And you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to start a fire. Throw some accelerant in there just to speed it up a bit. And I don't have very much wood, but I should have enough to make some coffee. And then drink said coffee. And that will keep us warm. For a bit, anyway. Oh, now we can see, too. This is great. Climbing area. The area I'm not supposed to be in, because it's been rendered unsafe. Of course, I'm sure, you know, fighting wolves with nothing but a sharp piece of metal... A crowbar or an axe is not exactly considered safe either. This is one of these climbing areas. Where am I? Picnic area. Okay, so we're overlooking this down here, I think. Ah, here we go. Okay. I remember this. I don't have any mountaineering rope, but if I did, I could throw... I could attach it to this rock. This rock looks familiar. And then we could actually climb down the mountain. That was something they introduced quite a couple patches back, but it, it still feels like a new one to me because I haven't used it that often. They have it... There's one area of the, of the game that you... um that you have to use it to get to. Okay, that is the waterfall here, so it looks like if I kept going down this way, I'd eventually be able to get into this area. Now, do I want to go on such a long and dangerous endeavor? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not today, but maybe. That was... This is where I was just at. Yeah, okay. I like the buildings that you can just walk in. That they don't. You don't have to uh, go through a loading zone to get in. As far as I know, there's only one with an actual door in this game. It's a... Um, it's some kind of like a lookout tower thing. And I really like that part of the game. That's actually a cool part of the game. Oh, is this the same? Yeah, it's the same waterfall. I should have look in the map and see that. I'm running a little long today because I know I was cutting out a lot of stuff, so... I'm kind of just going overboard just to make sure that that I have enough stuff to make a 30 minute episode today. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Not the heaviest pack you've ever carried. Come on. Okay, there's a dead guy over here. Let's investigate him. Not the recommended climbing technique, might I say. He complains more than I think it's worth. He's like, ah, and it's, you know, it's just like falling down a two foot drop. Right, 
Some good stuff. Another bank deposit key. Okay. The real prize is yet to come. Yep, and here's the waterfall. So yeah, it, do, it does seem like this is the direction to go. There's not I'm not seeing any mountains down this way other than this little peak right here. So that might be the direction to go. And running back this way is gonna just kinda lead us back into that farm area, I think. Yeah, that's just sort of the lower area of the farm, and then there's a path that goes up. Uh, we can always turn around if this goes bad. Let's try it. Famous last words, anybody? I don't see any wolves here, so I mean, if this goes bad, I'll just come back this way. my stupid rocks that don't do anything. I know I haven't really gotten a good hit on them. Like, I haven't seen one actually, like, hit or bounce off a wolf or anything. So, I might just be a bad shot, but those wolves, they don't care about the rocks, I don't think. Actually, that might be a house. Look at those synchronized deer. <laughs> synchronized deer. Great. But they got a key to this house here. That's good. I would have run into that problem in about 30 seconds from now. Yeah, I saw this barn, but I didn't see the house behind it. You know, I bet we're going to find another safety deposit key in there. Damn. Just like the truck. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in this one. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here on my on my tractor. Ooh, a workbench. Okay, this is cool. Well, two things are cool. One are snares. You can use your energy chasing rabbits and trying to stun them with stones, or you can use a more long-term strategy, snares. Look for areas with high rabbit activity and place a snare nearby. Check in it daily. You may get lucky and catch a rabbit. You can set up multiple snares to increase your chances. A well-maintained trap line can be an excellent long-term source of food. So, they're right. That's actually a really good, more long-term thing. And it's nice they actually gave us one. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Making one's a pain in the butt. You've got to have... Oh my god, what are you doing here? Get out! I can't... I don't think it even cares. We're gonna get out of here while this wolf is glitched. I think he's eating a man. I think he's like a... I think he's supposed to be there, wolf. We're gonna get out of here. Go inside the house where it's safe and the wolf can't get us. Hopefully. Got a lot of nice furniture I can break into bits. 
I think that's like a story, Wolf, because normally they would have chased you by then. Ooh, this place is a mess. All right, there you go. The book. I, think I can use this. I like books. This place. This place is actually a mess, though. They they destroyed this place. I'd like to kill that wolf and get access to that workbench. So, you may have noticed that in our crafting thing, there was something that said you required a workbench to make some of some things. Um, with the workbench, you can do stuff like, for some reason, I think you need a workbench to attach. Oh, there's a lot of things I'm getting distracted. That uh, the hook and the line that I got, you can attach them together for fishing. I think you need a workbench for that, I want to say. Oh, gosh, we're going to get real heavy now. Look at that. They got a floppy disk. Okay, I need a key for that. I've got a distinct feeling that key is going to be on the corpses of those men that the wolf was attacking. And I'm just kind of getting that vibe right now. I could use this. There's a lot of paper here and a lot of books. I don't really need that much stuff. Utilities bill. Oh, there's a lot here. I'm going to skim. Your account with Mainland Power Corp is now severely past due. Your account arrears to the tune of 1,256.45. Interrupt service immediately. All meter readings are carried out by impartial drones deployed by a remote monitoring station on Great Bear. They're really big on these drone things. <laughs> That's just a joke, right? They don't actually use drones, do they? <laughs> for their services. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Do you complain more? Please tell me about how heavy it is. I'll just give you another orange soda to carry. We'll do we'll do wait Inventory management later. Right now, we've got to pick up everything. Why did they have a rose hip in the trash can? Maybe they made rose hip tea. Neighbor's note. We found Molly. Alice is so relieved. Thanks for helping us look. Looks like this time maybe a wolf went after her. They seem to be more and more since the quake. Closer to town. And closer to town. Fewer people to keep them in check, I guess. Molly's hurt, but I think she'll make it. Watch out, because the wolves might come after your dog, too. I know how you feel about wildlife and that you wouldn't shoot a wolf even if you had to, but I hear they don't like loud noises. Roadside flare might do the trick. Stay safe and come visit us when you can. It's not good to spend too much time on your own. I think that's actually a hint that I should use one of my flares to scare that wolf away. We might try it. Okay, so that's a stove. I can use that as a fireplace. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Ooh, another can opener. Yeah, it's a mess here, but they got a lot of food and a lot of books and a lot of things. I guess this is sort of your, if you look around enough, investigate the nearby trucks and stuff, this is your reward for being a good searcher. Ski jacket. Alright, 
Right, so there's a bed here, and it looks like it's warm enough as it is. So we could stay the night here. And that's probably where I'm at actually in the episode, now that I think about it. Rather than trekking all the way back, because I still want to next time. That'll I've gone over enough that I'm okay with how long we've taken, but next time I want to go and try to scare that wolf away with a flare, if I remember to do so. Broom. Another storm lantern, if you didn't grab one earlier. Probably going to break down that second storm lantern just for metal. I'm going to break down a lot of things. <laughs> Alright, that's everything here. We'll try to scare away that wolf next time if I remember to do so. So sleep a little bit to save. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Next time, we pretty much explored most of the area. We're going to go for the tunnel next time and maybe we'll explore that lower area. That, that seems like a long thing. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.